guys, it's Miss Hernandez here, and I am going to share a couple tips and tricks with you regarding echo if you haven't figured them out yet. So the first thing we're going to do is click our echo button that we added to our home screen, the little B. And that should take us right to echo. So when the page loads, you're going to log in with your username and your password. And here are all the classes that you are enrolled for. If you are Craven Live, then only the yellow class shows up. If you are um, the Plan C kids uh, in Miss Zelensky, Miss Chalfant, or my homeroom, then you have the different colored icons for each of your classes. Now, the first thing that I want to show you is the calendar. So when you log into your app, if you click the three little lines beside of student app and you go down you'll see a button that says calendar you'll tap that and this calendar is really handy because each day it shows you the assignments that you have to do for each day and once you complete those assignments you will get you will get a gray check um, the side of the assignment showing that you have completed it. So like this student has completed Tuesday's math assignment, but they haven't completed anything else. So you guys are looking for those gray checks. That's what you're looking for to make sure that you've done all of your assignments. Um, also, if you go back to the student app, you can look at your, before you click in any of the classes, you can click at your to-do list. This to-do list shows you all of the work that you have to do for all of your classes. Um, so like Wednesday, we have uh, two ELA assignments. You've got a video and an assignment in math, as well as a theory versus hypothesis assignment in science. And then uh, of course, Craven Live students, all of your assignments are going to be in yellow, but you have the same things that are due. So this is a nice place for you to kind of get an overview of all the assignments that you need to do for the rest of the week. The next feature that I'm going to share with you is the activity stream. As you can see, there are six notifications here at the activity stream, and this tells you when your teacher has either updated an assignment or um, scored one of your assignments, or if the teacher has given you feedback and has requested that you redo an assignment. So all of that information will be here in the activity stream. If you would like to see a little bit more information from your teacher, you can click on the assignment and um, it'll show you your grade here. It shows when the submission was due and your grade as well. If your teacher gives you any feedback on the assignment, that will also be listed right here beside where the grade is. And I do believe that that covers it for the most part now. So remember, this is where you see uh, when your teacher has graded an assignment or whether they've given you feedback. Sometimes we may ask you to redo assignment. That will show up here, but it will also show up on your to-do list. It'll pop back up on the to-do list if you have been asked to redo something. Um, also, your big to-do list is a good place for you to look to see everything that you have to do in the grand scheme of things with all of your classes for the week. Also, past due assignments show up as well, so this is very handy for you to make sure that you have completed everything. Just remember, if you complete a past due assignment, you do need to send your teacher an email. And then, uh, last but not least, again, reviewing the calendar. This is a nice little visual for you to see the different things that are due on each day. All right, guys, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send your teachers an email. We're here for you.